Hi, I'm David Tower and welcome to the Theories of Everything program on Channel 3. Viewers, about a year ago I ran a program looking at the beginning of life, the evolution of life and its future. On that program I suggested that one of the major headlines that we might be confronted with over the next 10 years might be something to the effect of life creates life. In other words, humans would have reached the point where they could create life itself. This would have, of course, enormous reverberations through all our society. Well, in fact, it appears that my predictions may have been a little conservative because even over the last year there have been some major advances in this area. We can't quite get to that major headline, but we're getting very close to it. So perhaps in this program I'll be able to bring you up to date on some of the theories relating to the creation of life and give you a snapshot of what's going on and, and what the future might hold. One of the problems, of course, is in the definition of creation. Um, creation covers a whole range of options and these options will be the ones that we cover in this program. Let me give you an idea of this. For example, Creation might also include the resurrection or the, re the resuscitation of life, as uh, Professor Michael Archer called it in a recent program, in which I interviewed him on the recreation or resuscitation of the thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger. That's a huge project. That's bringing back a past extinct species into the current, into our current environment. That's one form of creation. Another form might be re the reverse of that almost, re-engineering life, taking current life and re-engineering it back into, the, into its past forms. And uh, there have been several spectacular beginnings to that option. Another form of the creation of life might be to clone a new species. And this is already occurring with the, uh, with, with the yeast organism, for example, which we'll discuss briefly not quite a complete new life form, but a new species. Um, another major area of research is in tinkering or manipulating the code of life, the codes being the bases in the genome, in the blueprint of life that produce the amino acids that produce the proteins of which we're all made up. So playing around with those codes and creating a new type of, uh, a new type of species again, a new form, a totally, a totally new form of species perhaps in the future is another, is implicit again in the definition of the creation of life. And it goes on, there's projects uh, currently underway looking at the creation of artificial chromosomes, again creating a new form of life, one that's never been on the planet before. And then there's the, there's the big studies, the, the sort of seminal studies going on to to decide whether we can create uh, from scratch a new a cell as life began in the first place, uh, in, in its first origins. To be cracking the code of the beginning of life itself on this planet and on other planets throughout the universe, no doubt. So viewers, we'll take a, a flyover of the latest theories. I'll bring you up to date. This is really part of our big picture series in which we examine the big questions of life. Viewers, let's begin with the resurrection of life. 